Okay, so this is game number five of the Necro Run. It's kind of game number four because game number four was just a concession, but it's officially game number five. Uh, we have spun into some lizards, second game against lizards on this run. They have not got an amazing record, but they have got a very good looking team for. They've played eight games. Jesus, they've got a horrendous looking team for us. They've got three blocks for us already. One is moving busted, but you probably live with that for the block. They've got a sneaky good dirty player already after eight games and we are 5,000 short of being able to induce a uh, being able to induce a bias ref against it so that stinks um I don't think there's any good stars we can get there's no stars we can get so I think we're probably just going to take a bribe and see if we can foul back do not like that at all this uh, yeah, the yeah the five k show bias is painful. Gonna keep on fouling. I think we take the ball first in this situation. Actually, I wouldn't normally, but with that sneaky get around, I don't really want it getting to go off on us before we get to punch them. So we'll see. I feel the living room balloons last night for baby girl's birthday. And now all I can hear is baby boy shouting balloon. I'm so happy. I got a sneak preview of the birthday room and it did look beautiful. I bet she was so excited when she came down in the morning. Thank you for the follow, Seabreeze. At eight games, it kind of pretty good going. Pretty good going. I assume that's been the one that scored all their touchdowns. Thank you for streaming around my weird work schedule. Streaming around my weird work schedule, so. <laughs> I've got a doggo to go and babysit. Good luck with the game. Thanks, Thulian. Uh, Thulian, I'm pretty sure you're in my Discord. So you are now compelled by law to share a picture of the doggo later. That's, um, that's the law. <laughs> she was ringing the bell on her bike for a while. Has she gone for a ride yet, um, Collie? Does she know how or is she um, brand new to cycling? Oh my God, of course, it's a school day. <laughs> Of course it's a school day. Obviously it's a school day. Oh man, I bet she was grumpy. I'd be grumpy if I got a new bike for my birthday and you told me I had to go to school. Shepherd, I was quietly hoping they wouldn't and then they did. Very sad. Uh, okay, so they've set this up to avoid the frenzy hit through, which is fine. Good news is we can jam our guard in there and we still get our hits in the line, which is nice. This stuff. Blitz. Push, push. I need to get someone around. It's not impossible. A quick snap would be nice. Okay, bring this. Normally I would carry on this, but because I have an evil plan here, I might need you to do a dodge. So, for sake of evil plan, I'm doing it this way around. I need an extra body for my evil plan. It's very important to let yourself pursue evil plans. Nothing sadder than evil plans hatched and not pursued. Evil plan may well backfire, just so we're all clear. I 
evil plan is at least a little bit reckless. But it's the kind of reckless that could end with a Saurus off on the sideline. Or we could just get blitzed with the kick to the side where we've stacked away from all our players. Okay, bad start to the game. <laughs> Pretty easy for our opponent just to come and put a skink under the ball here now, unfortunately. Um, oh, well. <laughs> That's a real sadness. I, I was excited about my evil plan. And uh, we're getting the opposite. We're probably going to go one or down here because they can take this ball pretty easily and we don't even have block nearby to deal with it. One more game curse, right? Should have stopped. Uh, hey, Gaza. Hey, Strawberry. Skill ups I'm seeing so far is one block wolf, one guard wraith. Yes, there's also a jump up wraith because we did a random agility skill. Um, which uh, worked out well for us. Are we not going to do the rush, go underneath it, or are we going to do it with this one? Oh, I would definitely have put one next to it and then rushed the other one to get underneath it. For the sake of a two plus to have a chance to just catch the ball, I mean, you might get it anyway on the scatter, but I would definitely have put one there. Okay, they did not catch it, but that is about as bad as it could be, to be honest. That is about as bad as it could be. to fall over as well but at least now we can do that which is not much but it's something very sad I didn't get to do my evil plan it's a really fun evil plan It's not great, but I think it's as good as I could do that, Tan. Hmm. Thudian has paid the dog tax. I must see. I must see. Show me the baby. Oh, what a sweetie. Little chunk. Little chunk <gasps> and Jukes' floof and Dandy's kitten. Ah, my evil plan of making a discord and forcing you all to show me your pets has succeeded. Uh, it's definitely a blitz that's worked out all right for us. Um, we're very happy to keep that on the ball because they didn't roll the pow. And now they've got, well, they can pick it up on a three plus, four plus, I guess. We've got something. I mean, this is, it's just a very tough situation. Like lizards are a very good team. They've got a massive strength advantage on us. Um, and the blitz completely wrong push this what we were trying to do we did definitely overcommit to this side but there was a chance to surf a saurus um that's what the evil plan was there was a chance to surf that saurus would have been pretty big but not to be it would have been fun to be able to show you what i was thinking
Thanks for the follow, Alo. I assume they'll go for the pickup this turn. Three plus, four plus. I would. No? I'm just going to stay where they are, okay? Keep the bodies on it. You're going to step in here. So we get two into two with this one, with, with blocks. So I think we start with that and see where we are. Okay, power's good. We scatter the ball. It's not in a good square for us now. Oh, no hands. However, that is a good scatter. Wow. It's a very good scatter. Um... Mm. It's a really good scatter and we still have things to do because the situation is still bad, even with the good scatter. Um, don't know which of these to use. If we hit you this way, then we'd get a follow-up with that one. Yeah, it's probably just this one because I don't want to risk the frenzy getting me stuck somewhere unhelpful. Although if I do frenzy and then hit here, then we could have free assist on that, which I don't hate. Go on then. Yeah, that's perfect. That's worked out well. That was lucky. Because now that means I can two dice this as well. It's pretty nice. Fine. That's going to be our pickup. Um, first, we can do this. I will do this as my blitz. On a one dice, but probably I should go for the ball pickup first. Wow, well, but this is a two plus, whereas the pickup's a three plus. Okay. Um, Hoping for a power, which would have meant I could bring this around the back, but we didn't get it. So, where do we go instead? Maybe it just has to be here. It's at least making them roll dice on those ones. Ball carrier foul with the bribe. This is a bad idea, right? <laughs> We have a bribe. Still got the bribe. <laughs> Gonna keep on fouling. Okay, well, we didn't get sent off, but we also didn't hurt it. Um, uh, boo. Damn it, I was thinking both down there was fine, but I should not have done that. Okay, now we freed up the croc score. That wasn't clever. Mm, oh well. <laughs> oh well. That wasn't clever. Mm -hmm. That was that was a bad last decision. That croc score being tied up was a good thing. I was just thinking, you know. As long as we rolled the two plus, that was going to be jamming that in more, making more of a mess. And if we rolled it both down, I could live with it because at least we would have taken down that skink. Uh, yes, I play on PC. Uh, AI, are you a PC or console gamer? It's really cool that we've managed to get crossplay now and uh, and that we can have everyone playing together. That will work, because they've got block. Good news is that our second ghoul on this team uh, did not die the first time it was hit, which is what happened to our first ghoul. Ah, oh, nearly an amazing scatter catch onto the wolf, although still not terrible. At least it's fallen on the right side. Well, we can get it again, hopefully. I mean, the situation is still very bad overall because we're just out of strength everywhere by giant dinosaurs. But of all the places that could have gone, 
there are definitely worse spots. EV on Xbox complain Electric Vision complaining he's matching games too quickly now because he can't talk nonsense between games anymore. Ah, <laughs> uh, love EV. I really hope I get to play EV before too long. I'm really excited for it. It's one of the things that I'm really excited for. Um, I saw Gozza was in chat before as well, uh, getting to play against some of the people who we don't haven't been able to play, who've seen streaming, who um, now we'll get the chance to have games against them. At least it didn't die, but this is looking worse and worse. Could go for it on the skink. Uh, two, three plus dodges. Shouldn't have followed that, actually. Oh, no, I guess the follow didn't change anything. Yeah, two, three plus dodges and four plus pickup. They didn't go for it last time on the four plus pickup, so I imagine they won't. Yeah, this is this is all bad again. Mm. They keep powering my flesh bones, too. Sad. All right, well, get the golems back up because that's their job. If we can do one rush, can we get a one dice? Do you think we're going to have to take? Don't want to, but I think we're going to have to. It's got two rushes as well, so right, this first. Good. Fine. Just trying to see if there's a world where we can surf this Saurus. And I think the answer is there is a world, but it's Pretty scary one. I have to do the one nice. <clears throat> I think it would have to be this. Roll this, you need a push. Then pick the ball up, come around and surf it. What could possibly go wrong? So this is a three plus, which fails. Okay, so we're not surfing it, but we did power it, so at least that's on the floor. Try to get the ball then, I guess. This is looking very potatoey, if we can even pick it up. Which we can, that's good. Ah, oh, I don't know if I can reroll this. I also don't know if I can't reroll it. I think I have to. Everything is terrible. Push back. Not over. Okay, that goes down, that's good. This time is good. All right, well, hmm, pretty bad overall. Um, the problem with this, if this had failed, they just had like immediate two dice on the ball. But even with that succeeding, I think they get two dice on the ball pretty easily. So they need the croc score to hit this now. Oh, they can just, oh, they can just roll the power there. Yeah, okay, that does it, doesn't it? Would have been great if that would have one time not been powered, but not to be. The powers were happening.
snake. We wrote a snake. We wrote a snake. We wrote a snake. We wrote a snake. We did not write a snake. But they didn't re-roll that, so it's not going down this turn. So there's still hope. There's still hope. Is it a lot of hope? Probably not. But there's some hope. Oh, Crocs go one in nine. Crocs go one in nine. Puts the re-roll in. Oh, not a one in nine anymore. Damn it. Not a knockdown at least, but not a one in nine. That would have been a huge turnover. Still, is this looking better than it did a second ago? Which is not the same as good, but better than a second ago. Hmm. I think I think the minis and the most of the animations look great. Oh, I haven't got my colours on. Oh wow, that green is so vivid when you turn off the uh, colour blind mode. Um, I am personally not sure I like the wolf one just because it's such a big animation. I think seeing it for every armor break is going to get really tiresome. But overall, definitely think the team looks great and the animations are more good than bad. I love the head of that animation on the flesh golem, and I think the, the models all look really, really nice. The wolf one I think is going to feel great when it's like a actual casualty because it'll feel like it's worth the drama, but I feel like on the ones where it isn't, it feels a bit OTT. Skinks doing skink things. I was thinking you should do that, and they did, annoyingly. Annoyingly, they did the right thing. Oh, wow, they're just going to let that get served. Guess they're going to bet on me not being able to roll the dice, which is not a terrible bet, to be honest. Got to do a one dice here, don't I? Got to try to serve that on a one dice, and then that would give me two dice with you. Why did I just know it was going to fail? Why did I just know that was going to be a fail? Oh well, that probably is the end of this drive, unfortunately. Man, if they hadn't made that loan a reroll, we were away. But they did. Are they dancing or fighting? <laughs> now we can surf our ghoul instead. Feels like the dice have been pretty harsh, given that we started with a blitz when we had a surf one of their players on. Feel like we could have had a bit of luck somewhere down the line since then. Oh, they're out of rerolls now too. Yeah, we've had some mixed games this morning, haven't we? We've had a couple of the last lizard team we played. We had all the dice in our favour. To be fair, oh wow, that Saurus has caught it. Well, that means we'll have some chance at it. Means we'll have some chance at it. Not a good chance necessarily, but some chance. I'm 
and keep fighting the good fight as long as we can fight it. They're not serving us, but they are powering us on the goal. Just see on very quickly. Well, if it had been a serve, it would have been dead, so. Again, small mercies. When they have used their sneaky kits, they can't foul with that this turn. Crocs score rolls another one in nine. And this time they can't re-roll it. In fairness, their blocking dice have not been amazing. It's just that there's been enough of a mess since the blitz that it hasn't mattered. So we could get a two dice here if we can do that first. That stands up. I think actually you just have to stand up because you're not blitzing. Okay, that's nice. So we will get two dice on the ball here. It's two into one. Do you know what? In something. One dice it is. Boo! One dice is a pow, all right. Okay. Um, I think I have to eat this way because otherwise I can't get out. Oh my god, I thought we were going to get the scatter catch. Now what? Um, do I keep going? Hope I can roll three plus three plus and get the four. Or do I take a one dice to block that? I think I've got to keep going. The situation isn't good. I think you've got to go for the high roll. Got out, didn't get the ball. Okay. Well, could be worse. I keep saying could be worse when things could definitely be better. But they could be worse. <laughs> Three one D box for the serve. Mm. Honestly, things don't really work. look from where we were a turn ago, things look much better, for sure. And they have managed not to knock us down on once for once on that, which is really nice. So that means that we can sidestep next to the ball, which I'm quite happy about. Hey, dragon. You believe in me? Do you believe in me or do you believe in chat? Because the way you've written that sounds like you might believe in chat. And I'm not sure I believe in chat. It's like, of course I believe in chat. How would I not believe in chat? <laughs> uh, JD Whitey, just to let you know, Tree, my wife, said you the first time and said, wow, she's a wonderful voice. Oh, that's a lovely thing to say. Hello, Mrs. JD Whitey. Thank you, that's lovely of you to say. I believe in a thing called chat. Oh my god, every time I think of that song, I have a very funny, embarrassing story about that song, which I'm not going to share with you all. <laughs> Boo! Um, I need to save that one for Tree After Dark. <laughs> I can, though. I literally can. I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Double skulls. Wow, okay, our opponent's rolled some bad dice along the way here, too. Double skulls on the skink. KOs itself. You love to see it if you're me. Um, all right. What are we doing here? Could surface or is here. But I think we need to stay your eyes on the prize. Eyes on the prize. We are trying to score. Okay. 
Okay, so three plus pickup is what we've got going on there. What else can we do? That's stuck. That's stuck. We could take two dice on that skink. We could take one dice here. We could dodge this ghoul. Two dice on the skink is the safest thing, but it's not that amazing. Whereas the ball is just crucial. So I think we've got to go for the ball. Makes it. I'd love to see that. And we run as far as we can. Then we punch skink. We roll a pow. You'd love to see that even more. All right, then. Could we make this two dice into one dice? If we can do that dodge. Yes, we start with two. Can we fail on the two? Can we do it on the one? We cannot. But at least we didn't turn over, so that's still okay. Um, this is a slow Saurus. Maybe we should dodge rather than just letting it hit us. Nice. Fine. All right. Okay. Things could be better. Things could be worse. You went down. You went to a wedding where they walked down the aisle to that? Very cool. It's a actually it's a nice wedding song. That's a nice wedding song. I can get behind that as a wedding song. I've only just seen Michelle's uh, version of me on WWE. Did you know it's a rumor that Spike magazine you're a ring I had I I, would, I saw the animal things. I do look very intimidating with my um, with my face paint. It's a lot skinnier than real life me though, so <laughs> stronger but also slimmer. <laughs> I've heard WWE tree would tell us stories. <sighs> Probably. You kind of have to to be in the wrestling, don't you? That's the whole thing with wrestling. Telling their stories about how they're going to beat each other up. Thanks for the follow, Row Tree. More trees, Row Tree 73. Are they going to try the uphill blitz here with the skink? Because we've had one against to succeed before. They are going to base with it. Oh, I like this for me. I like that for me even more. I think they're trying to force me to serve them and score and give them two turns, but I honestly don't hate giving them two turns, and I would much have been much more bothered if they based it on the other side, to be honest. So I, I don't hate that being there. That's not going to affect the place. So it's going to stink. I'll stick you in front of that one. Not that you're going to do a lot, but. This has blocks, so I guess we should do this first. Call this our blitz. Okay, so we are either going to go into the end zone with them or we're going to turn over. We'll go into the end zone with them. Hopefully the crowd will kill them. Kill that one. It's a jerk. Kill it, 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 kill it. Didn't kill it. 
but we did score a touchdown. Which, frankly, given how that drive was going for a long time, scoring a touchdown, pretty nice. A uh, little sad that the crowd did not share my desire to see that um, particular skink murderized. But yeah, two-turn touchdown against uh, Necromantic cannot be easy. Especially on a team that doesn't really have, like, passing skills. Like, this feels like it's got to be quite hard. on that drive, I don't know. <laughs> I think I got some luck and uh, my opponent did give me some some opportunities. They did roll some some bad skulls at bad times, didn't they? Maybe these wolves should be more central. I was thinking that these are the easier ones to go through, but actually probably the flesh columns are easier to go through than with, uh, with lizards because you've got the strength. But they've got no rerolls and they've got um, no sh no uh, comedian skink for the better passing. And yeah. Chris, Chris, things happened. Chris, you were originally a zombie who randomed sure hands. And then we needed to um, fire a zombie to hire the ghoul. And so we decided that what happened was you just trained really, really hard at carrying the ball until one day, instead of being a, a zombie with sure hands, you were a ghoul. A ghoul that doesn't have sure hands. <laughs> Shh, details. Oh no, ads, okay. I'll retell the story after the ads. Missing to Ghoul Town? Diddy dear man, gifting a sub to Chris Frozen. Diddy dear man, thank you so much. That's really generous. And Chris, welcome back to the weirdos. Um, Chris, to finish the story that you missed by going behind ads, uh, you were originally a zombie and you got sure hands on a random skill. And... Uh, then because we had too many players we thought we needed to fire a zombie to make room for hiring a ghoul and I thought the story should be that you were a zombie that trained so hard you trained so hard at being a sure hand zombie that one day you woke up and you were a ghoul instead you just trained your way from zombie to ghoul you just you know the hardest working zombie out there. There was probably like some sort of video montage set to 80s music of this zombie like working out, like running on the treadmill, like doing, I don't know, punch bag stuff, running on a beach. Eye of the tiger, exactly. And then the next thing you know, that zombie is a ghoul. <laughs>
Okay. Then it is. Weirdly, this one seems to have the time bank on the correct side. The last game it was on the wrong side, but this this one, the touchdowns and the time bank are on the correct side. So is it just sometimes wrong? Not all the time? That's interesting. Because last game, literally last game, my score was showing up on the wrong side. Huh. Maybe in mirror matches? Yeah. It's just sometimes to really piss you off, right? Like to make it the most confusing possible. It's busted, but not always. <laughs> Practice picking the ball up so much hard, started beating again. Right, this looks like it should be softball. Let's have a look at the situation. So currently there are two players who can score. It's just this skink and this thing, but we can chain push to get them both out of range. So I think we should try to do that. Jam that guard in. So as long as we don't double skull, this should be good. Didn't double skull, we did one in nine, which means that that skink is technically still scoring threat, but it's got some work to do. Let's be extra safe about it. Fill all the spaces. And we'll do a far because we still got the bribe. It's fine. Still got the bribe. Gonna keep on fouling. Exactly. Casual zombie dodge off the uh, croc score tail. Oh, the croc score's not got the tail, has it? Although it would have worked because it was a six. So I don't think they can score. Mm. Because you can't even do elaborate chain pushes because that's got stand firm and that's got side step. So. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Axel out. Lycan is a killer. Guard him. Doing our best. Doing our best to look after all of them. Team captain for Lycan. Is a Lycan a werewolf? I'm really sorry. Lycan's one of those words that I feel like I should know and I don't. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Seabreeze. It has got a tail. It's just it, at, at that moment in time, it was too stupid to use it. I know that kind, Corolla. I know that kind, but L-Y-C-A-N is something different. And I would pronounce the word you've just written as lichen, but maybe I say it wrong. Mm -mm. Big Bad John, welcome to the stream. Thank you for the follow. I ran into Runbad as a console player. Got a tie due to double one. Fun to have crossplay. It's honestly so cool having crossplay and a double skull for our opponent also cool yeah like it's definitely like really nice that we've uh, finally got um finally got that opportunity uh, it's cool for me because i was already playing on pc but still it's like more people in the playing pool new people who haven't played before and it's got to be so much cooler for everyone who's been on um on console because i know that the playing pool was probably a little bit smaller on on console so like it's i think it's just wicked that we've got everyone together now in the same pot I genuinely if I'm being honest when they were talking about it at the beginning I didn't really believe them like they were saying we're gonna bring in crossplay and I was like will you though that sounds like a thing that doesn't happen because 
I don't know much about this stuff, but everyone's always told me it's really hard to get crossplay because it requires cooperation from the different um, platforms. So, like, I genuinely like think it's super cool they've managed to to bring everyone together. I'm um, I'm super excited for it. Um, clearly, like, I play a lot of Blood Bowl. I stream a lot of Blood Bowl. Like, I'm very in this community. And anything that helps that community to grow and have more people involved in it. Flipping wicked, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, Corolla, I think I remember Andy doing that. My only sadness about the crossplay is that they haven't got it as far as Switch, because I do have a Nintendo Switch, and I would love to be able to bring it on my Switch. Although... Real, realistically, I haven't um, haven't even picked up my Switch in ages, but it'd be cool to be able to take it places and play. Thanks, Diddy Dear Man. I cleared that one up. Bubble community is the most awesome community on Twitch. Only kind humans. Oh my god, that is a 1 in 27 from that Crocs score is having a shocking game. That Crocs score is doing its best to sabotage the lizards. Um, all right then. Well, can we put some pressure on the ball? The last time we had someone fail to pick a ball up and we thought, can we put pressure on? We decided that we couldn't. This time we've got two wolves and a ghoul. It sounds a lot more possible. Um... definitely can do here is the fun push into your stand firm flesh column so you don't have to follow up so we'll get two dice into two dice on this uh saurus to have block it does not so we'll just put it down there it's perfect will we foul it with a ghoul maybe I think we're still got the bribe. Gonna keep on fouling. We just gotta go all in here, don't we? We're in for a penny and for a pound here. No guard assist, sadly. New rules implemented. But. Stun is still good. And we've got some pressure on the ball now. We've got three quite fast players all on this side. Doesn't mean if they pick it up and just go to this side. They'll have quite a lot of space, but can't do everything. Oh, fails the pick up. Oh, makes it on the reroll. That would have been maybe GG if they failed the reroll there. When I get access to get Xbox, when I get access to Xbox Game Pass again in the future, I may consider getting Blood Bowl 3 on Xbox. If I get the money to do so, maybe on one condition now they add cross save progression in future. Uh, do we stand firm here? Make them hit us again? Or do we avoid the second hit? I think we stand firm. Because they could push for a second hit anyway. Okay, well at least it's taken up two people. They may foul. If they foul, they're going to leave themselves out of position. So. Definitely some risk of doing it. I play tabletop as well. Currently, we have a 14 year old crushing all competition with his Necro team. 800? Oh my goodness. That's 
awesome slash very sad John but um, I play tabletop as well and um, at the NAF championships which is the biggest um, British tournament every year there's always some kids there and some of them are really good oh is it mini morg is it actually mini morg because I, I like yeah I've never played against him but I know he's one of the ones who comes to NAFC and just destroys the grown ups he has a griff wolf I don't know I don't know him well enough to know that. I also don't know what his real name is, just Mini Morg is the math name. Okay, stand you up, stand you up. So we got two rerolls out of them that turn, which is pretty good. Um, We're about to spend one of our rerolls. I know this is going to just look like terrible turn ordering, which it slightly is, but I was, again, just thinking if I got the push, I'd get the follow-up hit if I did that first. So, I don't know, maybe it was wrong. Maybe it was the wrong choice. It's a choice we took anyway. Guard in there. And... moment it's still red Let's see if we can claw this croc score out of the game To see. Oh well. Disappointing. Yeah, there's um, there's Mini Morg. I'm trying to think who are the other because there are other young players who are really good. Um, obviously Dementor, though Dementor's 18 now. We can't call Dementor a kid anymore. <laughs> yeah, definitely there's not Dog's Kid on Twitch. Definitely not. Hmm. But yeah, if it is Mini Morg, then, yeah, then I, um, his reputation precedes him, I would say. Very good. Very good coach, who just happens to be young. I'd say one in nine they can have, because they've got block. I had no idea Dementor was so young until he mentioned he was doing high school exams in my stream yesterday. Dementor definitely has an old soul for his age, I would say. Really? Are you kidding, Lady LeFay? Patrick Balcani is another young one. That explains how he has time to play as many games he did. Not that I can talk. I played a lot of games last season on my off-stream team. Many more played Iliad in a fumble major. Iliad one but it was close. Oh wow. That would have been a serious feather in his cap to beat Eliod.
Well, the good news is, once again, that sneaky git player is not fouling. That sneaky git dash player was very worried about the start of the game. Has not done a single foul. So that's good, at least. We've done some fouling, but it hasn't done a lot. Crook score goes for a one. That ice just gets push. Stand up that one. Stand up this one, stand up this one, and what does that leave us with? We'll put you there, that gives us two dice here which would free up some players, which I think we want to do. But it also might just push, so we should move the ones that are here first. I think we just sacrifice a zombo there. And bring you to the middle to be able to do stuff. In the future, I think you as well, same thing. Freeing you up for future use. Now we take this here. Damn it, really? I don't know if I can reroll that. I don't like it because I want to be able to blitz this turn, put more pressure on. Put me down to my last reroll. Maybe I will look to regret that. We will see. I wanted to get some pressure on here, so here we are. Give me another two into one. Which so far have always gone to the one. This time we managed to roll her. That's good. Good. And let's tag a skink, why not? Alright, so there's some good pressure on this now. There's a big difference between that happening and not happening that block in terms of just making this feel a little less comfortable for them. Kids doing too good in Bloodball. Here I am, honorably balancing things out with my magnificent 16% win rate. <laughs> as long as you're having fun, Strawberry. As long as you're having fun. I did move the guard wraith. Still got my board from 88. Amazing. Yeah, I guess I was thinking about just which players were going to be affected there by the... Uh... Ooh, hello. So we go onto the ball here, surely. Onto the ball does mean getting hit again. But puts that guard right in the mix of everything. Good news is the Fowler has moved again already. Oh, this is getting really nice. Okay, so they failed again. This time we will step in front of the ball. So now they can hit us with the ball carrier. Or they can blitz us, but... If only I had jump up, but it hasn't fallen over yet. Yet. That's exactly why I wanted this pressure. Because now they've got really uncomfortable decisions to make for the rest of this turn. Goes the blitz, does not get us again. And I think we stay in front of this here. Now where are you going? Just doing the skink dodges all the way through and scoring. Fair enough. Okay, but we still get the ball back. We've got one more. Mm. So down to one reroll bad, but forcing the score good. Hang on a sec, I think the ones go out. All right, 
I'm back. hear me right now something's gone wonky i can barely hear the game but can you hear me okay all right yeah i was gone for a minute because i was giving letting the dog out but then uh, things went wonky mm. all right so how many turns have we got we've got five turns i think as we've established, not the best team actually on uh, on offense. Let's try not to get blitzed again. Not a blitz, but a solid defense. Which is not great, because they have got the strength advantage on us. It's going to be a tough end to the game, I think. Only four players at least, not all six. But that's basically what the sort of says now, yeah, so it's still pretty bad. Pretty cool that someone young is known in Blood Bowl and respected. Oh, yeah. I think Blood Bowl is actually pretty neat for that. Like, the age spread of players, like older players, younger players. Like, and when you go to a tournament, I do feel like you've got, like, because there's um, a NAFC, which is the tournament I was mentioning, you get, like, uh, school groups there every time as well. And, and they just mix in, don't they? They just uh, mix in with everyone else. Just out in the garden having a shout at everyone, as he likes to do. Oh, I'll have to go and have a word with him in a second. Oh, nice KO. Ross playing in his boss. Yeah, I can't leave him out of the barking, so once his turn is over, I'm going to go get him. I don't want to leave him. Annoying the neighbors. Do make good blood I agree oh man, I was taking a call to do something there. Uh, however, we can stomp on someone. Croxigals are kind of less satisfying to stomp on because they've got the thick skull. Hang on, I'm actually going to know he's annoying me. Hang on. As soon as I said I was going to go and have a word with him, he just stopped before I even got anywhere. So there you go. Um, no, and then he started again. I love him, but you can't let him just be woofing in the garden because the neighbours won't like it. Do this foul. Just a stun. I didn't get caught again, so that's good. Dick picked the ball up, that's good. All right, I will be back in a second.
advantage, but there is no sure to be out to him. It's been quite a long stream, so he has no much tension, so we'll go have a nice walk after this. He's decided he's had enough nap time and he wants some attention. And that's exactly what this is about. We are now up on the arm of my sofa. Ross, after this. Okay, lots of pressure here. So we're going to have to get around this with our go. I think it should be doable. See where the last couple of players end up. But I think it should be doable. Yeah, because we can just come around the side of this. I think they should have gone a bit wide. The problem is if you go wider, we'll just punch through the skinks. And if you don't go wide, then we can just go around the outside. But yeah, that looks like a fairly clear route forward. Where's the bits gonna be? Let's have a think about this quickly. Your map, Fowler. Bring you here. Bring you to the back corner. Just try to dodge the wolf, don't we? Nice. Hopefully the fleshy where it is. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good, sorry. Distracted there by dog things. But the ball looks like it's in a good spot. We're moving forward. Super into this. I mean, they've brought this forward quite aggressively, which I definitely understand why they would want to do that. Try to put some pressure on the wall back here, but they did give me the space around the outside. And what would be ideal now is if we can leave this stuff just stuck on that side. But I don't know if we really can, because they can just come back this way. And they haven't, because there haven't been any removals. They can still now just put up a big screen in front of us of string four players and players with dodge. So I think the score is still potentially quite difficult from here. But let's just see. As we've been talking about in the last game, the Necro offense, not always the easiest part of it. I'm guessing they're gonna blitz here and base the ball. My best guess. Hey, Ode. behaving pretty well, honestly, behaving pretty well. Very happy that I didn't fall over, that's good. Because now we can potentially block away. Instead of blitzing, but we shall see. We may double bases. We will double bases, okay. And then pushes on the flesh column. We do love to see that. So turn 14 coming up. Hmm. I have some ideas. I also have some concerns. I 
It's going to be a turn where you're making a decision between playing more aggressively and doing the dodge to free the ball carrier, which gives you much more movement. Or you make the choice to uh, play it a little bit safer and take the blocks, but then you're going to lose some of your potential movement forward. So it's a tricky one. See if we get lucky on this. Do not get lucky on that. Okay. Well, affects the decision for sure. So, use this going one dice into one dice. No, I think we'll go for this then. How are we doing this? We need to push, do we? Cool. Good job. Hargrim. That's what we need there. Yeah, we just we went for the slightly safer route in the end. Which has its advantages but also does have the disadvantage now of Gonna have less time to get forward. Okay, that's good. Hopefully, next time we can make the push. I don't know what was said there, but I um, would just reiterate what I said before. Owner filter, if you're still in chat, like the mods are people I trust very much, and I'm certain they haven't taken that decision lightly. So please, everyone, just try to be respectful. And if you're being told something by the mods, then listen, basically. <laughs> They're not just saying it to entertain themselves, they're saying it because it's important. So I haven't got the full context of that conversation, but that's the important part of the message. Listen to the mods. Hey, Doug, welcome. Yeah, Doggo Cam I haven't had on recently. I So, I don't know if I'm overthinking it. Someone on YouTube said they didn't like having Doggo Cam because it took away from the screen, and mostly he does just sleep. And I don't know if people want Doggo Cam or not. So, maybe I've over-listened to one person on YouTube and I should bring Doggo Cam back more. But I'm, I'm trying to... Trying to give people what they want. There is a popular movement for Doggo Can. I can't do it right this second. But it seems like there is far more people wanting Doggo Can than not wanting Doggo Can. <laughs> worried that I've left this too late here. Getting the Croc score in has definitely made my life a lot harder. 
I'm not entirely sure where my root out and discover his maybe I had maybe I had to take the risky phase last turn. Maybe I had to go risky last turn. It's just so much strength here with the uh, lizards, isn't there? So much strength, it's just really bloody hard. That was a good tag by them, gets my guard tied up so it can't be useful. One dice, thank you for the raid, Pickles. How are you, Sir Pickles? Uh, you find me at a bad turn. Well, the good news is they haven't got a scoring threat other than that Saurus. So that's worth keeping in mind. The draw's looking reasonably safe, so we can be aggressive here and just hope we get. Oh, yeah, it might be red dice into red dice to clear this croc score, which is pretty awful. Um, or is it better to do the one dice into red dice try to serve? If we cleared that, I think we've got it for the red dice, this one. Okay, it gets the first one. We need to do it again, though. Because it's got frenzy, so we'd have no choice. Got to do it again. Double power the second one. That's always a good plan. Always a good plan, just to roll double powers. Okay, so this is good, because this means we haven't used our blitz. That's why I like this as a possible option. Go two and two. One of them, this is still bad. Even after that, it's still not looking good for actually moving forward. Um, well, that's moved, hasn't it? Okay. Um, Let's hear. There's only one word to say. I would love to power, but pickers and choosers and no, it's a sound up. I think we have to accept the two into one here because we need everyone else doing what they're doing. Get the pow again, always a good plan. even better plan I've got a one dice here maybe good enough I mean not really because still don't know how I'm getting through <laughs> this is not a good not been a good situation has it uh Five plus, or we jump over for a six plus, or if we move G, we could go four plus three plus. So we do that three plus first, and then we go four plus three plus that way. Yeah, it's a six plus jump over the down player. Okay, it's all working out exactly as I planned it. Oh, I mean, fair enough. I think I had to go the turn before. I think as soon as that croc score got on the board, it was just too many things we had to do. As soon as that croc score got on the board, we just made it too hard for ourselves. Yeah, you might be right, Varian. But I, I, and I think maybe even that turn, it was better just to roll the hard dodge off the croc score because I had to commit all these wolves doing this. Even, and that was on uphills, but my plan was all a bit. I think it was not a great plan and perhaps fair enough to get a draw because I think I haven't played a particularly good Blood Bowl today. It's been an interesting learning experience, like playing teams, playing a team I'm not used to playing, but that I do really enjoy. Like, um, the Necro have been very different, but like a, an interesting different. Do you know if I'd just gone for the leap, it would have worked? The jump over? The, the six plus jump over? 
because that was the white. If I hadn't dodged the white, she's going to jump over. I mean, the thing is, even if I made it over, I probably still was going to lose the ball afterwards, so... Uh, right, well, let's uh, murderize this one that didn't even foul us all game. Nobody should have that player after eight games, and yet they will. Uh, then let's take you three dice on you. Just push. And then let's see if we can get some... Flesh gone on SCP. It's the one thing we've got none of so far. And we won't get it here. Even though we did do an amazing diving head back. GG to our opponent. Interesting game. I mean, for how badly it started with the uh, blitz, a draw feels like a good result. Having said that, when you get the ball back at one all with four turns, you think... You think you should score, so I'm a bit disappointed in myself I didn't manage to score. Jesus Christ, Hargrim. <laughs> Hargrim just absolutely the only one allowed to have any SPP on this team, apparently. That's Mighty Bow now, definitely, yeah. Calm down, Hargrim. Literally five games in his career. One of them wasn't even a game because it was a concession. Has managed to get, what's that? So six plus uh, 16, 22 SVP in four games. 22 SVP in four games plus a concession. I mean, he's getting mighty bow. He's earned it. He's gone and got it. Absolute madness. Cobblestorm, thank you so much for the resub. 12 months, a full year is one of the weirdos. A full year. Um, oh, we can put a skill on So Salty Salt now as well. Is it just block again? Is it worth going one block, one dodge? We've already got the dodge on the ghoul. I think it's still dodge. How do people feel about wrestle werewolves? I know Kaylon was saying earlier he takes to take a wrestle werewolf in um, in NAF, but my hunch is that in non NAF you don't want to do it. As well as anything, just because you've got so few ball carriers in this team, you don't want any of them getting fouled. Yeah, you can get tacklies, yeah. Yeah. Like a wrestle witch will still get foul, but wrestle witches start with jump up. And also, if you do lose a wrestle witch, you still got a team that's all edge two plus. Like here, if you lose this wolf, it it really hurts. Yeah, I think that's I think that's how I feel. Right for one block, mighty bear, one block jug. So yeah, we're gonna go block. Gonna keep it basic. So salty salt. Thank you very much for. Scoring our touchdown that game and getting a level. So nothing else to roll because this one we're saving. Um oh no, I've right clicked my mistake. Um but yeah, that was that was game number four slash five on the Necromantic team. If you're uh, watching on YouTube, I hope you're enjoying the content. I've had fun, it's my first ever Necro game uh, games and we've got three well, we've got two wins in a concession and one draw and a loss. I think that's all right for day one. Definitely some nice team development. Um, looking forward to continuing this run and seeing where the team goes. But yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, please do hit that like and subscribe.